It is finally time for part two of my kids' bedroom makeover, in which I'm going to show you how I built this bed from materials I had already lying around. <laughs> then I filmed this makeover when I started building the bed. It's exactly a year ago. Exactly a year ago, I done the whole room and I haven't edited the video. If you want to know why, have a look back. I think two, three videos back, I explained all about it. But yeah, it's amazing editing this video and seeing how much Kiki has grown in a year. Uh, but uh, not to dwell on that, let's have a look at how I changed this whole room. In part one of the makeover, you saw me clear the room, take off the wallpaper, take off the carpet, install new carpet, so now I've got a nice blank canvas to work in. And now the carpet is done, it's on to the fun part. I'm gonna build Kiki a bed, not just a bed, I'm gonna build her a love style storage bed. I did some drawings and I wanna use as much timber that I already have in this project. So I'm going to use an Ikea mom chest of drawers that she already has in the room. I'm going to use an Ikea IFAR um, bookcase kind of storage unit that I had in the old house. And uh, wood from her old wardrobe. I'm going to use all of that in the build of this bed. So I've been doing my drawings and sort of working out what I need to cut. And, um, but yeah, it's going to be a little... Uh, so the mom's going to be underneath, then we're going to have the eye for her hair, then the frame's going to be clad, and I'm not going to do little doors like I drew here, I'm going to do like a little curtain instead. So how we do the top, I don't know yet. This is just sort of uh, making it up as I go along. The thing I'm very cautious of is get the measurements right for the inside, because if the mattress doesn't fit, it's going to be a big problem. So I need to make sure that the inside of the frame I'm building is going to be 80 centimeters wide and 200 centimeters long. Because that's currently the mattress she has. It's from her IKEA um, toddler bed. Um, yeah, let's crack on. First up is building two frames. One to sit on top of the units to make the base for the bed and one that's going to be exactly the same frame and one meter high it's going to be the top of the bed So, so far we built the frame, it's going to have a mattress on, and I just put the three stands behind. Hey. You want to come talk as well? <laughs> well, you're helping me build it. You're yeah. right here. And I just built the three stands that's going to be uh, part of the sort of cabin on top. What I'm going to do now is cut the timber for the stands on the front. And uh, we're going to see what we're going to do next. Hey, Pickle, are you going to help me? Yeah, and Mary is my best mommy in the whole world, and I never want her to go. She allowed to go to London and work, and she allowed to go everywhere with me. Mm. Oh, that's a good statement to have in the video. Hey, Missy? Now, should we go get yeah. some more timber? Yeah! And, and that thing, and, what? <laughs> and the ladies of you is my little house. Oh, the little tripod is your little house? Yeah. And my camp is tonight, so oh. don't scrap for me. Okay, so I'm not bother building your bed then? Mm. Okay, well I think I might stop building the bed because Kiki found a little bed there. Night night! leftover laminate which was in Kiki's old bedroom which I think would make great cladding for the inside sort of where her head is do you remember this it's the door from Kiki's old wardrobe A rather thick plywood you don't need it this thick but uh, this is what I have so that's what we're gonna use I think half the size will be better because it's lighter. But um, yeah, let's cut this up. Good morning, guys. So yeah, good morning, because it's the next morning. Um, I didn't show you a few things last night. I uh, painted the headboard, or the inside of the headboard. 
And um, this paint takes surprisingly well on the laminate. As this is a project of using whatever you have, I'm using my kitchen paint of the old kitchen. And if you remember the two-tone kitchen, we had a pink and um, white kitchen. That is the ki kitchen paint. It's Rustolian kitchen cupboard paint. And I'm really surprised how well it paints the laminate flooring. I also painted the inside of the ceiling for the bed in the same color pink. I think this is a great way of introducing color that your child really wants. Because Kiki, if it was up to her, she would have a complete pink bedroom. But one, I think she might be bored of pink pretty soon. And also, I'm not the biggest fan of everything pink. So I think if you do the inside, say, of this bed or the inside of a door, um, or maybe even a window frame, that way is a really nice way of introducing color to a room without it being too in your face. What I also done is I built out the frame where the cladding is going to sit on the back wall. Because I thought just having screws and glues might not be strong enough because it's quite heavy, the weight of that plywood. So I just bulked out the frame a little bit and then it's going to sit on there. As you can see, I used the offcuts. So it doesn't completely stretch the whole length, but that will do. This is screwed and glued in. So now we have a nice bulky frame for the plywood to sit on. do this. Let's magic the other ones in. Yeah, so for a bit of accessibility I put a repair plate here and one over there as well. But yeah, backing done. Let's get the roof on. So of course I need help to lift the roof on and my partner doesn't want to be on camera. So <laughs> I'm gonna just walk you through what I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna show you by magic the results. We drilled holes everywhere and then we're gonna lift the roof in place, screw it in and um, glue of course. I'm also gonna attach some brackets underneath just to hold the weight. I reckon the screws and glue will be enough because I'm using big screws but just in case I'm using brackets as well. Oh, another just in case, I had some spare timber so I put in two extra legs here at the back just to hold the weight of the frame. I don't think we need them because the frame is going to be attached to the cupboards here as well. But better safe than sorry. Um, just a bit of extra stability with two extra legs. So one in the back there and one here. Then there's going to be a leg underneath this middle part as well. But I'm going to wait till everything is in place so I know where to put that. So the roof is glued and screwed in place and at a few spots I also put a bracket like here as a bracket and on the other side. So the roof is resting on the headrest bit there, on the pole here, screwed in and it's got those brackets. I don't think that's going to come down anytime soon. I also attached the frame to the Ifar and the Malm. So I just drilled straight in here just screwed in there screw 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 over there then it's a bit tricky to screw into this malm chest so what i've done i screwed one here one there and there's also a little bracket there that keeps the frame attached to the drawers you remember the door i took out of the little cupboard that's going to be kiki's reading nook well i cut a tiny bit off the top and it fits perfectly in here so I'm not ten I don't want to use the bit behind the build, but just in case we need to have some bulky stuff put away, I put a little door there. I had a few more planks of laminate left, so I used that to clap the back of the EFA wardrobe there, because otherwise it would be a bit annoying if something falls behind and I have to climb in to get it. Um, doesn't look great, but you're not going to see it because it's inside the wardrobe, it's going to have doors. I'm just about to attach the hanging rail and in her old wardrobe I used these, which is I think for curtains for a curtain pull, but it works perfectly with a little dowel to Ooh, I'll put it in there. I drilled a little hole here so I can screw it from the inside of the mom and then screw it in here and then it should be sturdy enough. Now comes the scary bit. The bed base. Um, does it actually fit in? Does a mattress fit in? And or did I make a massive mistake in my measurements? I'm gonna use the slats that she had in her previous bed. Got them over here. So she received a fit. 
They fit perfectly. So what I'm gonna do, just a few here and there are gonna screw in place. I'm just gonna attach maybe the first one, a middle one, and one of the back ones. As you can see, it's plenty of space underneath a mattress for air circulation, because that's what you want with a mattress. If you were to put it straight onto plywood, you would get mold, and that's definitely not what we want for a mattress for a little one. I think that's it for the difficult bit of the build. Now comes the fun part, cladding. I have some floorboards left from a job I did, and I think I'm gonna put them on here, which will be quite nice. And maybe it's on the back or some plywood. I'll have a look in the garage, see what I can find. And after that, I have to still make the doors as well. But that's not a necessity. She can start sleeping in there once it's clad. So I'm gonna do that first. This could be nice, right? Might need to repaint her, because I don't think that pattern will be good. Otherwise, I got some ply here, which you could use as well. But I think I might start on the floorboards first. And now it's just a case of attaching when in place. And I'm gonna use the painted side on the inside. That might be quite nice. If she doesn't like it, I'll just repaint her. I think there's something wrong with a nailer. It doesn't wanna work anymore. And it feels super hot. So yeah, don't worry, I took the battery out. Um, I'm gonna let it uh, cool down for a sec, see if I can fix it. But I'll continue with uh, a hammer and nails. So the nails I have are not long enough for here. So I'm now just um, pre-drilling, countersinking and screwing them in. With the cladding I noticed that if you stack them all fast and then you screw them in, it works a lot better. Because if you screw them in too tight, you actually can't put the, um, the tongue groove together. So I'm just stack it, stacking them all and then screwing them to the frame. So I cut a piece of dowel to exactly this size. I countersunk the little screw holes, so hoping the screw would fall in there. Then I made these little blocks, tiny little blocks. They're gonna sit behind. And then a screw is gonna go through here, through the block, and then into the timber here. My dad built this with Kiki. How cute, right? He made it from some ply he found in the garage and even has her name on there. How cute is this? It's quite a simple build. It is two L-shaped sides and then it has two planks on top. So yeah, he designed this himself and made it for Kiki. So cute. Back to the curtain. And as I only want to use materials I already have, I'm using a muslin left over from Kiki's baby days. Um, it's cute, it's pink, it's got polka dots and it's about the right size for here. So all I need to do is cut it down in the middle, put a little hem in, and then I'm gonna use bits of ribbon um, sewn to the top um, so I can um, tie those around the new little rod. Um, Kiki has this little grow clock. Let me just get it for you. Don't know if you know these things, but they show us sunlight when your child's allowed to get out of bed. And of course you can't see it when she's in there, especially not now, she's got curtains. So I'm a little shelf that sits inside on the frame, hence the notch. And I also um, made a little notch here, where the wire can sit from the grow clock. So I'm gonna paint this, and then this can sit inside her bed like this. And then hopefully she knows where it's time to get up at 6.30. She doesn't get up at 5, fingers crossed. Let's set up Kiki's little hair station. So I got these two little bookshelf thingies. What do you call these? Brackets. So I got these brackets that I painted white, same color as the bed, and gonna attach them to the side of her bed. 
But I just need to make sure which hide they are, so I might need her help. Keeks, you wanna come help? You help me paint with the one? You gonna help me paint? Yeah. Good. Yeah, sugar, maybe. Yeah. yeah. That's the one we have, so. There you go. Let's just appreciate this picnic outfit you got on, Kiki. Got a bathing suit top, cap, and a sparkly gem dress, and shorts. And with the building done, it's painting time! I'll be using Rustoleum's new Little Stars wall paint, specially made for kids' bedrooms. Let me read what's set on the tin. It says Rustoleum's Little Star air purifying wall paint uses innovative technology that transforms your walls into air purifying services. The air purifying wall paint filters out substances such as warm formaldehyde, admitted by furniture like MDF particle boards and hardwood plywood paneling, and textiles like carpets and curtains. Ensuring a healthy and clean living environment. The Restodium Little Stars wall paint provides excellent coverage and is easily washable. Perfect for a kid's bedroom, right? It's got a matte finish, which I really like. And it's made for interior walls and ceilings only. And suitable services include plaster, cement, plasterwork, concrete, brick, plasterboard, etc. And it is uh, water-based, so when I'm done, I can just wash my paints in water, which I really like. So let's try out Little Stars wall paint. A really lovely soft pink. Looks a bit like a strawberry ice cream. Oh, that is a lovely colour, isn't it? Wow, oh, all in there. I didn't end up uh, filming loads of me painting it because it would literally be me just in that little cupboard there or me showing my bottom to the camera. So yeah, all of the inside is pink now. I really like plates, but so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make an arch around here. I've got a free hand that so I've got my pencil and I got a ruler and I'm just gonna make like a kick obsessed with rainbows. So I'm gonna just do a rainbow shape and then just pink. So I'll show it off just like an arch. But the little stars paint is not only super easy to apply, it has no odor, which was amazing when I was in the little cave there. It just really doesn't have a smell to it. With the arch painted, let's move on to our second color, which is Ice Palace. And have I chosen these paints just by their names? Maybe. Uh, Kiki's very frozen obsessed. I thought she might like Ice Palace. And also it's a really lovely white color. One wall done. Uh, three more to go. Well, one's a window, so say two. But there is a reason why I want to paint before I build the bed, and that is I haven't got a clue how I'm going to paint up there. Um, it's going to be very tricky. Probably balancing on the ladder, leaning, extending this. Um, should we? Can't reach at the end. <laughs> I can never show you. I can reach to there. <laughs> can't reach there. Um, bigger ladder maybe, so I can sit on top of the bed. Let's try that. So that's the first coat done. Um, definitely the second coat. So it's going to wait for this to dry a couple of hours and then come back for the second coat. Back for round two. And I've got one hour to have the big kick up the nursery. Let's see if I can do this. Second coat done. Gosh, so sweaty. 
<laughs> nice red face, but I have five minutes left, which is good. And then I have to pick up Kiki. So there's a few more jobs to do in this room. And then the first room of the house is done. Woohoo! Now the room is finally finished. We are filming it today, or photographing it today, for Rustolium to show off their new wall paint. So yeah, we set up here, done a few shots already, and now we're just focusing on the little arch. Love that space. I think my favorite bit in the whole house right now. Um, there's a little nook where you can sit down and read, which is so tempting. I just want to sit there all day and read a book, I think. But yeah, we've got a setup here with James, a lovely photographer, who's shooting most of my brand work and also my books. So he's here and we're around uh, photographing. So I'm styling the room, it's so exciting. It's so nice to finally do the fun stuff. Like styling little bits and tweaking and just doing really gorgeous shots. The difference in this room from a year ago if you look at the before pictures and it's kind of budget makeover because the only thing I actually bought was a little bit of wood to make the frame for the beds but all the other bits like the, the siding and the base it's all materials I already had or bits of furniture that were left over from the other house I did have to buy the carpet but as I fitted up myself it didn't cost that much either and we're a year later now and the room is pretty much the same there's a little more stuff going on because well five-year-old girl but there's a bunting and um, a bit of artwork here and there but yeah she loves her room. I have a little station there to do her hair, the curtains are still up in the beds. Those hangers prone very handy to hang some of her favorite dresses and also dressing up clothes. A little reading nook. We also kept her old bed because it's a great place to chill to read books and I think it might come in handy when she's going to do sleepovers. I never change the temporary curtains though they're still here so do the job and Kiki likes them because they're bright pink and maybe one day I'll change those. If you enjoy the makeup as much as I do, please let me know in the comments, like the video and why not subscribe to the channel? If you hit that notification bell, you know for sure you're not going to miss out of any of my future videos. I have so much footage I need to edit guys. A year worth of DIY and makeover jobs from the house. I really want to show you. So I'm going to try and get a weekly video out now showing you the progress I've made in the house. So I really hope I'm going to see you soon.